Rising waters continue to impact the lakeshore. In South Haven, rain and 50 mile per hour winds causing more damage to dunes and collapsing bluffs. Homeowners are trying to fight back while experts say it won't get better anytime soon. And an urgent need for response in Muskegon. Beach Street near Pier Marquette Park has washed away. This is right in front of the water treatment plant there. And officials are now worried that part of the plant could be compromised because of the high waters. Our coverage continues tonight as waves continue to batter the lake shore as high water levels and the wind create a costly storm. And for some homeowners, the continued erosion has now turned concern into desperation. News 8's Leon Hendricks reports from the lake shore in Holland. Good evening. The wind out here is incredible. The sand just pelts you in the face. But for some of these folks, it's not just uncomfortable. Every crashing wave from Lake Michigan is coming at a cost. And it's just you know, devastating. Tonight, Ed Karras is trying to assess the damage. If I've had you know people calling me that want work done, and I you know I just I can't do it. And in the midst of the storm, it's a moving target. It's changing by the hour. Karras owns Great Lakes Seawall. Some of his work seen holding up here. He's been in business since the 80s. When's the last time you've seen something like this? Last week. <laughs> no, but it was bad last week, but then 1986 uh, and 85 was real bad. People are losing their houses. They're getting close to losing their houses. It's just, I've been doing this a long time, like I say, uh, and it's a, it's a bad situation. Kara says the storm has his phone ringing constantly. They're starting to panic. This home shows the problem. The land has eroded some 20 feet this year, and now there's none left. It's likely the house will be lost. And today they lost a lot more today even. Even at nightfall, the wind kicks up beach sand like a winter snow. The damage it's causing here is yet to be totaled. It's man-made versus Mother Nature. You got to be really cautious. You got to be cunning. And Mother Nature usually wins a lot of times. Now, last week at nightfall, we saw the storm let off a lot in terms of the power of the wind. Tonight, we're not seeing that. The National Weather Service forecasting that these waves will continue through the night. We're reporting in Holland, Leon Hendricks, News 8.